Good afternoon. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday with Renee Weaver-Wright. Thanks for joining us today here at My Virtual Academy and our Step Up program. Holy cow, we are a week away from Christmas and the hustle and bustle of the holiday season has everybody uh, going in a million different directions and thankfully today is a nice sunshiny day. We've had a mm -hmm. lot of kind of dark days and kind of gloomy days lately and um, I, was, I was driving home last night from a basketball game and I was thinking to myself, looking at all the different Christmas lights and I thought, thought, wow, you know, it is, it's so cool this time of year uh, for all the lights that people have out because it really does brighten uh, some days that, that can be kind of dark. And it was just, it was really fun to um, drive around a little bit and, and look at, at the different lights that um, people um, put out. And it, it just made me think of, of the folks that we have here on our staff that help to brighten and to light up our students' days. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Jennifer Jericos, Jen, who's been with us for almost three years now. Yeah. And Jen is is a, a lead of one of our step-up teams and she also has students as a, as a step-up advocate mm -hmm. and uh, she's been with us for about three years as we've been working to refine this program mm -hmm. and really start to do a lot of really great things for kids so welcome uh, for Thank being you. here today and do you want to tell me a little bit about um, your your job as a step-up advocate here what you do sure um, we're mainly focused on student success, so helping them make their goals happen, which for most of our students is high school diplomas. Mm -hmm. So um, we work with students to help them through classes that they take to get to that diploma goal. So we're looking to see that they get their 20 credits if mm -hmm. needed or 22 depending on their district and we walk them through a class at a time. We can provide support for tutoring mm -hmm. um, but we're also there as motivators and mentors. We really work mm -hmm. with our students to talk to them, mm -hmm. to motivate them to work and encourage them. Mm -hmm. and. Um, that's that's about mm -hmm. our basic enjoyment with mm -hmm. working with those students mm -hmm. one on one, mm -hmm. to calling them. Now, and that's a requirement of the program is that the students have to speak with you yes. at least once a week. Yes. But we reach out to the students at least three times a week, don't we, to try and, uh, and yes. work with them and help them with whatever needs they might have. And I'm sure you've got some kids that call you every day that you're in here <laughs> or email you or are in, in much more constant contact, whatever yes. whatever the student needs, right, to be successful. Yes, so, yes. And we have middle school uh, students in that program. I believe we start at fifth grade all the yep. way through, um, high school, through high school uh, seniors. Mm -hmm. And this is a program for a lot of kids that have dropped out and, and not yes. had very bright days in the the school Absolutely. experience so um, could you tell me a, a story about one of your students um, that sticks out in your mind over the three years you've been here with us sure so. um, some of my students have a lot of trauma in their history and um, I have a student in particular who is facing some of his traumas and um, just was at a very low place, was having mm. a hard time finding a positive, and mm -hmm. he started working with me and was accomplishing a class every month. Mm -hmm. And he was gaining those high school credits and some confidence mm -hmm. in his skills. Mm -hmm. And we just really connected. And um, I, I have him back again. He came back to us <laughs> okay. because unfortunately he had another event happen. Okay. Um, but okay. he and his mom and I and him, we all talk every week. Yeah. We stay yeah. in contact. Uh -huh. And um, he found some light. He found the mm. ability to look at the positive with me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was just one class at a time. And mm -hmm. that's what I try to tell my students. Mm -hmm. You may have 20 classes ahead of you, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's one step at a time. One step at a time, yep. right. One, And that's what we try to work with the students to complete one class at a time. That's right. And so many of our students do have a lot of life that's happening to them yes. or that, um, you know, uh, choices that they make that they have to mm -hmm. face the consequences for their choices yep. but we always are willing to work with those students again Absolutely. to help them to complete their high school diploma that's mm -hmm. that's a huge huge part of who we are what we are um, is that we're always willing to work with students um, whatever um, as long as they you know are attempting to complete that one class a month and I'll bet Jen for that student that you are the brightest light uh, you, in that student's life and uh, the most positive uh, force that he has that he's working with so we, we appreciate you. that um, I know um, when you work with students that have been in uh, situations that are traumatic sometimes it's, it's hard on the, the advocate mm -hmm. personally have you attended any of our workshops to help you to deal with with students in traumatic situations 
Yes, um, um, we've had some presentations from CARE and they've mm -hmm. come through to kind of teach us about understanding trauma and how it affects the brain. Mm -hmm. But then also as someone who interacts with those people, how do mm -hmm. we interpret that information in our own daily lives? Mm -hmm. And I think a really important part of what we do is our connectivity with other advocates. When we mm -hmm. meet together and discuss students mm -hmm. or difficult situations, mm -hmm. the support we get from Beth and Jason regarding mm -hmm. those students and how mm -hmm. to help them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that to me is part of what we do. It is mm -hmm. about all of us coming together as a community to help mm -hmm. these students. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it is one student, one step at a time. Right, right. And it's not, it's not so much even the academics. That's right. With the students. Yes. But we do have supports built in, right? So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what your background is. If you're a math person, I always use okay. math as an example. But if you're not a math person and, and you have a student that's having trouble with math or science or whatever class, what, what do you do to help? connect that student. Absolutely. So um, I'm a middle school teacher, so I'm good with middle school classes. I'll tutor okay. my own students in those subjects. Mm -hmm. um, some other advocates are great with math, so they'll also work with their students. Mm -hmm. but we do have a tutoring program set up mm -hmm. where we can set up tutoring appointments right over the phone where they can work with those students one-on-one, mm -hmm. -on -one. Mm -hmm. um, walking them through even just the tutorials if needed to make okay. sure they understand the information okay. uh, prior right. to taking those tests. And sometimes they'll yeah. let the student take the test on their own, mm -hmm. try it, and then mm -hmm. come in with questions to mm -hmm. the tutoring session mm -hmm. that way but for every subject we have someone available who can work with a student okay. so if needed. your advocate can't help you that's right the advocate connects you with someone that can yes so yeah now what about um, our favorite time of the year which you know in the middle of December seems so far away graduation do you yes. have any stories about graduation to tell us or? um yes actually I just spoke with one of my graduates the other day mm -hmm. and she's doing fantastic it's a mm -hmm. year out for her oh, wow, so wow. she's entering into some community college classes Yay, and still deal. such a happy wonderful oh. young lady expecting a baby oh, coming gosh. so oh, gosh. some very exciting things and yeah. she went through a lot it was very hard to get yeah. her through those classes she yeah. struggled mm -hmm. um, but we worked together we mm -hmm. I tutored with her mm -hmm. um, and she accepted the help willingly mm -hmm. but there were times that she struggled and it was mm -hmm. just about being consistent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and motivating her in the most positive ways right and just picking right. up the phone and calling and letting her yeah. know I cared enough yeah. to continue yeah. to call yeah. her yeah. no matter we're right. gonna get her through this right one right. class at a time I mean, really <laughs> it was a hard one but yeah. she did it and she was so thankful at oh, the end Oh gosh and her oh. family she had 15 20 people at the oh, graduation wow. oh, all gave me gosh. hugs and thanked me yeah. so it was yeah. very heartwarming and yeah. um, yeah. that's why I do what I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, that is, that is just awesome. And, and I think that um, it just exemplifies uh, the um, reason we have this program is mm -hmm. so that we can take kids that have, have been through a lot of different experiences in life yes. that the traditional education system is not, not the best fit for them. That's and, right. And um, try to help them as best we can in one class at a time, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's just really awesome. So um, I appreciate what you do and in, in all the things you do for our students and in the light that you shine in their lives. Every Thank phone you. call at a time. Um, I know every time I come by your desk, you're you're on the phone <laughs> and, and saying positive things and with a smile in your voice as as you thank had you. today. So so we appreciate that and and we want to say thank you to uh, every who joined us today and when we wish and hope that you and your families your loved ones have a, a bright and and cheer-filled holiday season we will see you back on January 9th uh, into the new year my goodness 2019 I know, I can't already it. isn't it something and <laughs> uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again with our uh, 2019 edition of what's up Wednesday with Renee Weaver Wright at my virtual Academy and step up thanks again for joining us today